Hey, how are y'all doing today? Today I have found a video. It's a tour of Wichita Falls by a fellow named Landon Cantrell. Um, I thought, you know, this would be fun to watch since that is the town that I am from, where I was born. Um, I'm curious to see where he's going to show you. In the thumbnail there, I can see he is at the bus station. So... I'm hoping that's not on the list of tourist destinations, but you know what? Let's just go over there and let's find out. Welcome everybody to the great city of Wichita Falls, Texas, my hometown. I have lived here for more than 25 years and I got you uh, beat. it's been, it's, it's, it's just, it's a uh, great city. <laughs> uh, we are here at the bus depot of Wichita Falls in the heart of downtown. I like how he was grasping for words. We're going to go on a nice little bus ride together, and I'm going to show you just everything about the city and okay. how wonderful it is. Let's go. I would have personally, I would have waited until they were running the trolley because we got one of those trolley bus things that sometimes they bust out at like the holidays. And that here shows you on the, the water tower. Landmark oh, yay! The Falls, <laughs> which is what the city is named after. It is a man-made waterfall, and it is uh, the most glorious thing you'll ever see in your life. And right next to the falls no, is a glorious hotel right over here. Oh, wait, uh, wait. It used to be very prestigious. It was formerly the Holiday Inn, and then it was the Inn. Okay, that's better. And then now it was the hotel at Wichita Falls, and now it is a place to trade and sell crack that's and right okay so i actually used to work in that building when it was the inn at the falls and the whole thing was is it's built literally okay it's right across from the falls and in front of the falls is a river which is great because right behind the falls is a cemetery um so eh, so many jokes about erosion but um in the hotel itself like on my facebook page i've actually got pictures from up on the sixth floor um taken out there at the falls but it was built so close to the river that when the river would flood <laughs> their whole bottom floor would just be underwater so it eventually wound up getting shut down and yeah it's a good place for crack deals but i don't really know that crack is that big of a problem now i would say now it's more like going to the metroplex but you know i hadn't been in there since it was actually you know a business and that's that's why you shouldn't fire me your building will become a horrible horrible shell of what it once was mm. Here is the swinging bridge of Wichita Falls. Yeah. It is a bridge that just swings. Yep. And it's a lot of fun to get across the Chocolate River. And this is the <laughs> Memorial Auditorium. They have held... Now that river is not our fault. That is because we have got so much clay in the dirt here that our water cannot help but be that color. That river has never run clear that I have ever seen. Because um, that's the, okay, the artificial falls is over by the highway. So you can just see that when you're passing through town. It's actually, the, there was an original falls that was, you know, back in the day before it was founded, which is actually just about two and a half, three blocks from my house. And uh, it has worn down over time. They say it used to be a full three feet high. So, I mean, now it's just like a little blue like a little like a, seriously like a bloop in the river um maybe sometime i'll take a camera down there and show y'all um not that i think there's going to be like a huge request for that but anyway um ooh, maybe i could get a gopro and i could get on my scooter and we can go from the old falls to the new falls because there's a nature trail that goes all over and connects the two so it's a pretty walk or scoot however you want to go um back to it acts here such as Jeff Dunham, Rodney Carrington, and soon to follow Steve-O. You can also... Oh, 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 okay. So right behind there, at the bottom of the hill, because it goes down the hill next to it, I used to work at the little shop that was right down there. And um, when Steve-O came, 
the shop was still open. And so, you know, anytime there was a show there, um, I got I got to meet the assistant for Dwight Yoakam. <sighs> So I got to see Steve-O play with his dog, unless that was like an assistant or somebody that looks like him. But I didn't actually ever get to meet anybody. But I I did want to stand outside with like, you know, signs that said, Hey, tamales! Um, y'all don't really care about my time in the tamale shop, do you? Because <laughs> it's not open anymore, so you wouldn't be able to get them. Okay, then let's continue. So pay your water bill right over there. And right behind me is Big Blue. Big Blue. The tallest building that we have in our lovely city of Wichita Falls. It is. And here we are at the lovely RV park of Wichita Falls. As you can tell, it is quite populated. A lot of people drive through this city to go to somewhere else <laughs> and rest over here at the RV park. It's a but, great place. But at the RV park, you do have the swinging bridge kind of right there. So you can at least go over the bridge and you're in a nice big park. Um, and then, yeah, you can keep on driving to your destination when you've rested. I like this guy. I do like this guy. He's he's not sugarcoating it a whole lot. Ugh. To bring your family. And it's also a great place to trade and sell crack. And now we're at Kay Yeager Coliseum, which has held concerts such as Carrie Underwood and, um, but the main purpose... No, no, you can't stop it, just Carrie Underwood, because that is where Weird Al played. Weird Al came here one time, and he played the Kay Yeager, and, and I got to see it, and it was the most amazing, beautiful, wonderful thing that has ever happened in the existence of mankind, and that includes harnessing the power of fire. So, you can't stop at Carrie Underwood because, honestly, I didn't even know that she had played there. So, you give credit where credit is due. We've had the greatest performer of all time in a very specified genre of music. And I think that that carries over into other genres of music because that was the first CD that I ever bought when I finally convinced my parents to get me a CD player. First thing I did was I went out and I bought Weird Al's year, uh, New Teeth. That's weird dare to be stupid so he, he, he just in his 20s or whatever he he don't mm -mm, he don't understand the purpose of this building is to hold the ever entertaining events for our hockey team uh the wichita falls rustlers i, I mean uh wichita fall wildcats no no wichita falls warriors that's who they are now uh, we even yes, have one now for days over here and it can't get any more entertaining than that so come to k Edgar coliseum for some fantastic hockey games from your wild warriors and now we are here at oh, probably okay the, the coolest part of wichita falls this is the we best are here in front of the littlest skyscraper yep and it's not hyperbole when i say that it is the littlest skyscraper in the entire world according yes. to wikipedia it was built in 1919, and it cost $200,000 in 1919 to construct. And uh, I don't know how much money that is now. Probably about $3 million something. I, you I have got no to idea. tell the but history. To say that I came from the city that is home to the littlest skyscraper in the world is just tops on my list. Tell the history. And here we are. Nope, nope. Okay. He didn't tell the history. The history of that building is the best okay so i can't remember the dude's name but there was this shyster and uh he he totally he spinal tapped his investors he showed up with blueprints that was done in inches instead of feet got all this money from them and then he actually built the building exactly to the blueprint specification and walked away with all the money and I, I know that's a terrible, horrible scam to do, but, I mean, come on, y'all. Come on. He spinal tapped him. He spinal tapped him. Ah, that was awesome. Okay. That is actually one of the few bits of history from this area that I actually find hilarious. And Backdoor Theater, I was just there the other day to watch their Christmas pageant. So let's see what he has to say about them are at one of the two great uh, performing theaters that we have in Wichita Falls. Of course, as you can see, it is Backdoor Theater. Uh, the theater is fantastic. The people who own this theater are wonderful. 
and uh, this is actually where I had my first professional theater performance. It was in a play called Victor Victoria. And oh yeah! I, no, I cannot remember who I played or what I said. And here uh -huh. we are at the second theater, the competing theater, if you will, to Backdoor Theater. It is Wichita Theater. And this is the area that I have done, I don't know, 15 to 20 shows in my lifetime over here. And uh, each one of them was better than the better than the last one. So a lot of good memories here and a uh, good little area to hang out and see a good show. So if you're ever in the area of Wichita Falls, come to Wichita Theater. This is... Uh okay, the Wichita Theater, um, way back in the day, that was one of the original movie theaters because, like... With my dad, and I used to hear a lot of stories from my aunt because she worked over at, I think she worked at the Strand. There was the Wichita Theater, the Strand Theater, and the Tower Theater. And, um, yeah, two of the, the, you know, this was back in the day where two of the theaters allowed certain people in. And the third theater was where the people who weren't allowed in could go. Not a good moment in American history, but it's not that way anymore. They converted it over into a live theater, and I haven't actually been in it um, since it was, well, no wait, have I? If I did, it was years ago, but um, yeah, they've always got something playing over there. Because I, I sometimes cut through downtown on my way home. Um, and I don't know why we're downtown in an alley right now. But uh, I'm going to tell y'all what. I don't think he got on a bus. I don't think he got on a bus at all. Because everything he'd been showing is not... You're, there's no reason to get on the bus. That bus station is right at the edge of downtown. You could do all of this on one of the electric scooters that you can get downtown. So I'm, I'm, mm. he's going to have to go on the other side of town for me to believe that he got on a bus. And I'm also going to have to believe that he got on a bus and didn't just drive there himself. So let's find out why we're in an alley. Uh, the area that we all hung out as cast members at intermission, before oh, okay. the show, after we're behind the show, it. so on and so forth. <laughs> And uh, a lot of good times over here, a lot of good times. I used to throw a lot of tennis balls against this wall here, just to get myself warmed up. And right on the other side over here is Bud Daniels Park, where, of course, as you can see, is right across from the back of the theater. And uh, I've seen many crack deals being done over here as well. And now here we are at the world mm -hmm. famous dog park of Wichita Falls. Okay, so he has finally gone to the other side of town because we have one dog park, and it is on the other side of town. Um, so that's why people over here in my neighborhood just let the dogs out to run around. I don't live around responsible pet owners. As you can see, people come from all over and uh, have a great time with their pets. Well, you gotta uh, go when there's people there. Tremendous jumping things and uh, things to walk through. Sometimes there are actually a lot of people there. Just entertainment as far as the eye can see. And here we are on top of oh the my God. dirt hill. Oh, okay. Falls. He climbed our dirt hill. The dirt hill is really steep. And um, I say that, but I have a friend that just ran straight up it. And I was like, dude. I'll see you in like 10 minutes. But what they did was they decided that um, when they were working on projects around town and, you know, they'd get these dump trucks full of dirt and stuff, they took them out um, by Lake Wichita and decided they were going to make us a mountain um, of dirt, which the view from atop it is really... It's nice. It's nice. It'd be nice if there was like a trail that circled around in a gradual ascent, but um, there's not. So, but it is. It is a really nice, nice view. I hope he does a uh, panoramic 360 kind of turn thing. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I just walked up it, but it's a great place to get a nice view of the whole city okay i was like you better show it the wonderful skyline that we have of course 
and a beautiful view of Lake Wichita as well. And yeah, it's actually kind of a cool spot, but a lot of crack deals done here. Now, for no, spot, they don't climb that high up. Not from the city, may not feel oh. anything about this, but no. for the people that do reside or used to reside in Wichita Falls a while back, this is dirt cheap here. It used to be a uh, very well-known store Hastings. called Hastings. And uh, it no longer is, but it's okay. No, dirt it's not. Is a, is a good substitute. No, no, no it's no, not. No, it's not. It's not at all. And this here is Ryder High School. Why That's are we right. at Ryder? The Raiders, the school that I graduated from in 2009. It is the best school that this city has to offer. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Yeah, you better go to Old High. Because that is the original school, and when I was a freshman, they were graduating their 100th graduating class. Start out with Ryder. Shame on you. You could tell you went there. Here we are at the other main high school of Wichita Falls, Old High. This place sucks. Oh, screw Here you, dude. Here we now are at the lovely... Just screw you, dude. They, they, you just, just do, 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 do. Ooh, you, mm-mm. You better be glad I don't know who you are. Because I would just, ooh, I would give you dirty looks all day long. You just, ugh, got to promote all the hate. Why all the hate? Because y'all writer, y'all full of hate. Y'all suck. Midwestern State University, home of the Indians. Sorry, Mustangs. Home right. of the Mustangs. It is a great college, and uh, if you are here... Fresh out of high school and want to come to a good school, right here. And here we are at the prestigious Wichita Falls Sports Complex. Right behind me is Memorial Stadium, where Ryder and Old High, the two high schools I just showed you, would have their annual Friday night. Um, he does realize there's a third high school, right? I mean, okay, yeah, so they're building, like, new high schools and stuff and then closing those. But there's a third high school. Are you just going to ignore Hershey? Night Lights football game. Some of the greatest games ever held in this city. And it's a shame that it won't be that way much longer. And then we move on to the Little League field, the Little League complex that we have here called Texoma Youth Baseball uh -huh. Association. That's where parents can go uh, insane. I played here quite a bit when I was younger, about fifth or sixth grade. Y'all ever been to a kid's Reds, game? Of the parents? But out of control. Right here on this field is where I hit my very first and only home run of my baseball career. Yep, straight dead center, and I think that was my only hit of the season. So, yeah. Well, at least it was if a good one. If you're hungry, place. come to Ronnie's Burgers. Trust me, you won't regret it. Best burgers in Wichita. But if you want to okay. eat at the... That is not necessarily true. That is a matter of opinion, because I would rather go and wrap my lips around a big old Willie's. Because Willie's Burgers are the bomb. And he'll experiment with them. He has got like the Psycho Burger Challenge. If you're into setting your face on fire with spice. Which I'm not. I'm, 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 well I'm at an age now where I can't do burgers like I used to. But I love me a chili cheeseburger. And he does them great. Now Ronnie's Burgers, don't get me wrong. They are good. They're they're really good. They're one of the top places in town. But me personally, I'm going to go to Willie's. The greatest restaurant in the world. Come to Samurai of Tokyo right here it's a, in Wichita Falls. It's a hibachi. Now for the ultimate Just, landmark they in do this the great thing. city. The, spike. the Psych Center Mall. Yeah, yeah, Dillard's closed. Right behind me is uh, Dillard's. They have recently announced that they will be shutting down this store. Yep. Don't know why, but it's no surprise because nothing Actually, good can ever no. last in this they, city. They changed, it, they, changed the then they, they changed it, then they changed it back. They changed it, then they changed it back. They quit reporting on it there. because they kept flip-flopping uh, so much. So, come on. Oh, we're going to walk through the empty mall. Okay. Okay. It's a nice little Our mall uh, literally is like Dawn of the Dead. There ain't nobody in there. As you can see, not a lot of people venture here to the mall. Yep, empty, empty, empty. Store because look at what they charge for space store, to rent. After store, you have to have, the only things that stay around in there are the down. anchor stores. Like JC Penney's at home. Hell at home used to be Sears. Closed down. 
GNC still going. That used to be the plum thicket. They smelled Another great. Another store closed down. No, wait, no. It was this one down here with the fa yeah, fancy a couple other stores This one was the plum about. thicket. Then it became the knife guys. And, and you know what? They didn't hire me. The They're not there no more. The mall, as if there's any good spots in it. Oh, oh, you know what? In 1970, that shadow on the floor reminds me. In 1979, we had an F4 tornado come through. And I was up here at the movies with my mom and my sister. And we were watching Angela Lansbury and bed knobs and broomsticks. And um, the tornado hit. And somebody came running in the theater. And they were yelling, you know, everybody get down. There's a tornado coming. So we all got down and everything. And we were down on the floor doing our approved tornado positions that we were taught in elementary school. And uh, when, it, when it was over with and we came out, everything was blown out. And this shadow on the floor there is um, these giant glass dome windows up in the ceiling. They were totally busted out. All the glass in the storefronts was busted out. And what really was the kicker? was back when I was a kid, straight across from the movie theaters was Toys by Roy, a toy store. Because I was like, 1979, I would have been like four. It would have been a month before my fifth birthday. And uh, everybody was looting. And my mom would not let us go and loot. I mean, come on. But we went out, and it looked like a refrigerator or something had landed on top of our car, but it wasn't there anymore because the top of the car was crushed in. Um, it was still drivable. Uh, we were able to make it home. Our home was okay. My dad, who was a firefighter, was on duty that day, and uh, that is the day that messed up his back for pretty much the rest of his life. Um because they were out saving folks. So, whew, let's go on. Have what used to be Old Navy right over there. Old Navy went to its there own location. It's mall, not like they closed it. Anything. This used to be one of my favorite spots right here called the Tilt. It okay. Was, uh, video games, arcade. Tilt wasn't nothing on Aladdin's castle. Down at the end of that hall used to be Aladdin's castle right when you came in those front doors boom on the right Aladdin's castle was the shit when it came to arcades I'll tell you I've had some, woo, we had some fun up in Aladdin's castle but um yeah tilt was nothing tilt was eh, it was okay I mean it was pretty basic like I wandered in there like one time and I didn't wander back in but down there where Aladdin's castle used to be is now an axe throwing place and there's a sign that says <laughs> that you have to wear closed toed shoes is that because if you drop an axe on your foot a sneaker will protect you i just every time i think about that sign i giggle eight games a little fun fact though the tiger king actually made an appearance right over there it's in his tiger king documentary so we oh. got that going for us, which is pretty cool. And honestly, that's about it. And across the street over there, or the highway, I should say, is our lovely water park, Castaway Cove. Dude, why are you, you so far away from it? Field day of about 20 to 30 you could have gone to the Sonic across uh, the street and been way closer. That's a place for you. Look, Perfect and usually one summer. of the slides is closed and down. It and it's, it's always crowded. It's always way too crowded. Look, if you're not into all the big slides and everything and you just want to go to a water park, go out to Burke Burnett. It's just up the highway. They got a water park up there, and I, I think it's like Friendship Park or something, maybe. But, um, yeah, that water park up there is great, if, especially if you just want a lazy river around. Head to Burke. That is your tour of the great city of Wichita Falls, Texas. Okay. <sighs> Overall, if you're a family-oriented person with kids and blah, 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 it's not horrible. As far as pricing and stuff goes, we're not exorbitant. Our gas has been really reasonable. We're, you know, but I mean, we've got a military. He didn't even go to the military base. Well, 
it's a closed base. It's not like, if you go up to Lawton, they got Fort Sill, and it's open to the public. The one that we have here is a um, pilot training school, so it is not open to the public. Um, maybe that's why he didn't go there, but um, yeah, he did. He visited some places that I know. Most of what he did was kind of over in one specified area of town, which is downtown, and it's cool. They're trying to revitalize it, but... They used to have a zombie crawl, and we had the zombie crawl for several years in a row, and every year they kept reporting on it, and it was doubling in size, and then these downtown development people came in and put a stop to it, and I swear to God, these people said, we're trying to bring new life downtown. You think we weren't down there spending money just because you don't like it? Which stuff else? It's uh, nothing great. Nothing too horrible. And um, the crack is, I don't think, as prevalent as he makes it appear. I think that what he meant was the M word. I'm going to wrap this up. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here and keep on rambling. He didn't even do the painted horses. And he was down. He was literally at Big Blue. Big Blue has the Marvel horse. Eventually, y'all will see that on this. I just got to go down there and do that. But let's wrap this up. Y'all have a wonderful day. If you have watched it to this point... You are just the best. Um, if, if you liked it to this point, hey, why don't you just go ahead and give a little thumbs up there, you know? And if you hated it, then the proper thing to do from my culture in Wichita Falls is to um, tell us to just go put a thumb up our bum. So if you didn't like it, thumbs up the bum. If you liked it, you know what to do. Y'all have a good one. Bye.